Hello, it's me again. It's been a week of fantastic weather in school for our key worker children, upper two and small groups of middle fifth and lower sixth to enjoy. And we've now completed one circuit of the house year group visits and I hope that those children found it helpful to be back and good to see your house staff and some of your teachers. If you haven't been able to come into school, I hope you've had a reasonably relaxing time now that we've completed the reviews and the exams. If you're in the third to middle fifth forms, you've probably been engaging in some end of year group project work. And once again, your creativity and high level IT skills are being put to great use. I came across a pile of boxes outside my office the other day, and they contain some Exeter School collector's items, because this is one termly calendar that never really saw the light of day. And it lists so many great events that were going to take place this term that sadly we haven't been able to hold. And it's bizarre to look at what we would have been doing, field trips and cricket, rounders, swimming, concerts, art and DT exhibitions, a play, the house song, the leavers service. It made me think fondly and empathetically of the upper fifth and upper sixth forms who were deprived of their chance to take their public exams and who would then be emerging into a summer of freedom and celebration. They really are the school group for whom the COVID-19 restrictions have had the greatest impact. But we wish them a relaxing summer and we'll look forward to seeing each other in August on results days to catch up and say our farewells with the upper sixth in person and to welcome the upper fifth into the next stage of their education. I hope that you and your families are well and that you're getting about and, and uh, observing the guidelines. As always, I hope that you'll keep helping out in your families and being useful in your communities. And I'll see you soon.